what's guys this is your friend Kevin here so back with another smartphone review and this time around we are taking a look at the Huawei these are the 4G based smartphones so that's only the drawback has for me on the other terms these are having some of the coolest stuff this is Huawei's Mate 50 series and in terms of design they are leading has for me they are on the top has for me basically now let's talk about the smartphones because they are really powerful like it's always the captain here for watching here and the hours let's get started with the Huawei Mac 50e this guy is having OLED 90 hertz and 6.7 inches of display about the processor before that it is based upon the Harman US 3.0 and it is the Snapdragon 778 5G it is based upon the 6 nanometer it is uh, having a GPU of Arduino 642L Of the battery you are going to get is a 4460 mAh with the Motherhead battery, very odd number. You are going to get is a 66 watt power adapter and also having a 5 watt of reverse charging, not wireless, a reverse charging only. Thinking about the RAM and the ROM, you are going to get is a 8128 and 8256 FS 3.1. It is having a Type C 3.0 port, and there isn't any headphone jack, and the fingerprint scanner has been given. About the camera setup, it is having a dual camera on the rear side. It looks like a quad camera, but there is only dual camera. 64 megapixel plus 30 megapixel, 64 megapixel at 1.9 meter. The wide sensor OIS supported. Also, the 13 megapixel that's ultra wide sensor at 2.2 meter. Target of the video recording 4K 60 FPS, 1080p 120 FPS. Megapixel sensor is given for the front side. Yeah, 30 megapixel. At 2.2 meter, it is our ultra wide sensor. It is having 4K and 1080p both video recording support. Talk about the Mat 50. Yes, only Mat 50. The display is as same as the Mat 50e. Talking about the processor, it is based upon the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, 4 nanometer. But this guy is having a 4G. Yes. And uh, talking about the OS, it will be having EMUI for the international and Herman US 3.0 for the China. Let's talk about the cameras. You are going to get a triple camera setup, and in that, both are having the same camera so 50 plus 12 megapixel. But there is one new camera 13 megapixel periscope telephoto lens, and it is OIS supported f 3.4 and it is 5x optical zoom supported. Yes, on the front side, there is also the same camera. Of the pro version. The pro version is really powerful because it is like a 120 hertz. Just ready. Uh, the 120 hertz is there, old ad, and it is a 6.74 inch of display. The processor is same, never any plus gen 1 and same operating system updates. The battery. Then you will get the 4700 mAh with a bother the battery. And 66 watt power adapter, 50 watt of wireless charging, 5 watt of reverse wireless charging. Nice. Of the camera, the camera is kind of a really complicated in the specs. 50 megapixel sensor is there, which relies between f1.4 and f4.2 aperture. Basically, every series in this smartphone, of 50 series basically, it is having that aperture shifting, um, and except the 50 and uh, there is a 64 megapixel sensor which is a periscope telephoto and it is really powerful 3.5 optical zoom is the wire and same 12 megapixel android sensor talking about the video recording 2k and 10 both are there the pause addition or you can say the mat 50 rs pause air design um yeah it is a really big name but we gonna adjust it Anyways, um, everything is same except the cameras. It has been upgraded, not it has been degraded with a 48 megapixel periscope telephoto macro lens 
I don't know what it is, but half a minute is Paris for telephoto with the feature of taking out macros. Yeah. Now on the top it is having some same thing. Uh, and uh, color. Ink blue. I like the ink blue personal is because it looks nice. And there is purple color, which is again uh, looking really, really nice. about the Huawei Mate 50 series. This complete smartphone are having a variable aperture mode which is uh, basically you can rely upon the different different variables of aperture. You can do a lot of stuff with this if you are more into camera stuff. 50E, the first version. Um, this guy is also in that. It looks like it has a quad camera but it is a dual camera. It is OK type and it is more into a budget type of with a variable aperture stuff. And 50. 50 is a more likely you will be more into a budget side it and it gonna be you know complete day gonna be outed with the 8 plus gen 1 processor because it is more optimized on this battery and stuff like that and it is also having periscope telephoto on the top and 50 pro 50 pro is a really really do dude of this uh, series it is having some of the coolest stuff which is uh you can do it is like a phone which is like it will last long with you um, same stuff as for me, it is really nicely and precisely designed. 120Hz is there, which is uh, no a big deal, but it is really nice. You can do gaming, camera, and everything gonna be optimized on this phone. Porsche Edition, Porsche Edition is an exclusive phone, nothing on the top like uh, something big, but it is okay type of phone with a different different stuff on the top. So yeah, that was the Huawei Mate 50 series, and it is completely rounded up. And as for me, you can definitely go and grab this phones, but if you are in the Huawei ecosystem, then only. It, I don't know if it's going to be completely coming to the global market, but uh, it is having a dealing with the 4G and stuff like that, so that is the kind of a drawback of this phone. Only 4G. This was Captain DR, you're watching Chaos and Chaos, like and subscribe, and want to be appreciating our work, and press in the bell icon, you can stay tuned to the channel. Like, share, subscribe, get you in the next video, stay safe, stay connected, peace out.